What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, it is time. It's time to go to the gym, guys. Yes, it is, and uh, we are going to be battling the Ice-type gym leader, Wolfric. This guy is, uh... Well, if you ask me, guys, Ice-type Pokemon are pretty brittle when it comes to type disadvantages and all that crap. We got fire types, fighting types, ground types, rock types, steel types. Yeah. It seems like there's a like they, they can be beaten by anything. So what we're gonna do right here is uh, Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre is going to uh, he's going to he's gonna he's gonna you know flex his muscles just a little bit right here because you know yeah he needs to. So here we are. They call me the Queen of the Ice Rink. Yeah, I I don't think that's a thing. But here we are taking on Ice Trainer or Ace Trainer Imelda. And she will be coming out with Sneasel, as you guys already know. Dark and Ice type Pokemon. That is that is just that is just sad. The only thing it has it to our to its advantage is its speed. As you guys can see. Yes, it has speed. Ice Shard usually hits first right here, but here we go with a high jump kick. And there we go, Sneasel. Defeated. Yeah, buddy. Now I remember back in the day, Sneasel was just like, you know. Remember back in the day. Sneasel was like a Pokemon that I really liked. I wanted to use it on my team at some point in time, and you know, and then it, then I realized that it was like not really that cool. It was in the TCG game that it was just like it was a badass Pokemon. Yeah, that's what happened. Now here we are taking on a Cloyster, so let's go straight for a Power Whip. And it oh god, it avoided it, and here comes an Icicle Crash. Oh no! This is my first time seeing that move. Okay. Power Whip. Come on. There we go. And, uh, yeah, that, we should have won that one. Oh, my God. Okay, I got a little too cocky with that, guys. Remember, Dragon-type Pokemon are weak against Ice-type Pokemon. So, yeah, got a little cocky. Carried away. Let's go with Jordan the Goat. Of course, we are still, you know, of course, we're still being a little too cocky right here. So, let's go straight for a Leaf Blade attack. There we go. Break through that defense. Say goodbye to Cloyster. Yeah. There we go. That's how you do it, guys. Jordan the Goat does its thing. Level 64. How you like me now. And Nacho Libre grows to level 62 without doing anything. Alrighty. Okay. Let's go. So, let's go right ahead and revive our Pokemon. This is what happens when you get a little too cocky, guys. You uh, you get you get beat. You get beat in, in, in hilarious ways. Okay, so here we go. Hyper Potion. Off screen, I did buy myself quite a few full restores just for this occasion right here. Now, what you need to do is this, guys. As you guys can see, there are buttons next to the trainers. And they all, you know, represent the e each and every single one of these stages. You have to click on these buttons in order to move these stages around. And, well, this one right here will lead me into the blue stage. So I'm going to leave it like that because if you, if you, if you hit it multiple times, there's a, there's a possibility that you won't be able to get to the next trainer. So we're going to go right here. And no, we're not going to be using a repel. I didn't even know that. So let's go ahead and battle this trainer. Freeze right there. Of course, the ice type puns are going to be here. You are challenged by ace trainer, Victor. And he is coming out with a Delibird. Look at that. That Delibird is uh, looking like Santa Claus's little birdie. So here we go. Taking on uh, we're using Nacho Libre. Let's go with the high jump kick. See how this works out. Does it still affect it? Well, it is a, it is a uh, flying type Pokemon. So I guess it was weak. Okay. So here comes a Mamoswine. This Pokemon is weak against water types. And I forget. Who did I? You know what? Screw it. Um... Did I use Jordan? Jordan the Goat, yes. Mamoswine is still a ground-type Pokemon. Or a rock-type Pokemon. And, well, we are faster. We are stronger. We will defeat the Mamoswine. Because Surf Attack will win. All right, so here we go. Surf Attack. Didn't expect that. And, yes, here comes a Mist Attack, which will prevent any kind of status affections or something like that. So, here we go. Let's get it. Another one. And there you go. Mamoswine has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. 
Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. Well, that's that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so we have to get to the next stage, and we have to align two spots. So let's see. This one. Okay, we got to check the other side. Of course, it probably. Yeah. Okay. So we need to switch it one more time. And no, that's not gonna work for us. Try one more time. And it looks like crap baskets. Okay, so it looks like this this one will work, but unfortunately for us, we won't be able to move around, so we're gonna have to do this again. Okay, so do that. And yeah, this puzzle's not this puzzle's not the hardest. It's just uh yeah, let's see. What if we do this? Okay, so there's that. And one more time. And another time. So there you go. And crap! Okay, so... Let's see. Maybe we should get the middle right here. I always had it... I never had an issue with this. It's just... Yeah, okay, let's go right here. Damn it. Okay, come on. Help me. There you go. Okay, so the next stage is right here. And we need to get to the or the yellow area. So let's go ahead and go to green and beat this guy right here. All right, let's go. Okay, so here we are taking on Ace Trainer Shannon. All right, Shannon. She's coming out with a cryogonal. And, well, of course, I'm going with Nacho Libre himself. All right, Nacho, let's go with a high jump kick right here. And the high jump kick does its thing, and, well, there you go. And we get some more points right here. Look at that. Okay, so he's going to be coming out with a pile of swine, and I mean a she. And we're going to go back to Jordan the Goat. See what that's all about right there. And, well... Here we go. Pilot Swine. Looks pretty cool, but unfortunately we have to wash it. So there we go. Surf attack. Does it? Almost does. And here comes a blizzard attack. So if, it, if Jordan the Goat faints, it's me. And thankfully we did not get frozen. So let's go with a surf attack. And there you go. Another victory. Yes. Okay. All righty. And, uh, well, she's going to be coming out with a Jinx. Let's go right ahead and use Star Fox. We're going to use Star Fox for, uh, you know, this simple thing right here. And that is flamethrower attack. So let's see what we can do. So Jinx, how's it going? What you doing? All right, Jinx. Time to do it. Let's go with a flamethrower attack. And look at that. Jinx defeated. Oh, my God. All righty. Look at that, and Shannon has been defeated. Okay, and we get a lot of we get a lot of money for that. <laughs> okay, so we need something for the yellow area. And that is not going to work. Let's go again. And we have to check this one, okay? And yes, it will it will lead us to it. But unfortunately for us, we can't get towards the final area right here, so need to beat this guy and see how we do things right here okay being able to keep your cool no matter the situation is a trademark of a truly powerful ah it is it is true okay so here we go taking on another ace trainer and theo is going to be coming out with a bear tick right here big old polar bear and here comes nacho libre let's go let's do it high jump kick for the win oh uh, yes Nacho Libre is eating in this place right here. Yes. Alrighty. And, well, Blade grow, grows level 62. And here comes a Vanilla Lux. You know what? We're going to keep it right here with uh, with Nacho Libre. It likes ice cream. So let's go right ahead and use the high jump kick yet again. There we go. High jump kick does the trick. Vanilla Lux defeated. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. And, well, Moko grows a level 61, and that is how we do things. Okay. Alrighty. Let's, uh... 
All right, let's move this around. Now, we need a stage that can uh, enable us to go towards the other area right here, which is this. Now, we have to move this. And look at that. That was easy. Holy crap. <laughs> I usually have a trouble with that one, but here we are. It doesn't matter which way. You will be finding yourself to Wolfric. I am going to put on an, uh, a, well, a full restore right here because, yes, my Pokemon, their safety matters. Yes. So let's go. Jordan the Goat. And let's do it. Take it on Wolfric. I love this part right here. Watch. Watch this. You know what? I... Ice is both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what that means? Depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves they use, I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's all right. That's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling. Let's get this show on the road. Pah! That's right. He ain't afraid of his dad bod, guys. He ain't ashamed. So here we go. Dad bod Wolfric challenging us. And, well, we're going to be taking on Obama Snow right here. Okay, so this Pokemon, both Ice and Grass type, has multiple injuries and or multiple, uh, what was it called, uh, weaknesses. Best way to defeat this Pokemon is through a Fire type Pokemon because that's like eight times damage, I believe. So, here we go. That's right. High Jump Kick. Yes, Nacho Libre has been kicking some butt, taking some names. And for that... Look at this. Level 63. Yeah. Okay. And evil bacon. Without doing anything. Just chilling like the bacon enter it should be. And, uh, well, here we are taking on a cryogonal. So, let's go straight to Star Fox. Let's make a... Well, let's me let's, uh, let let's, let's melt everybody right here. Okay. So, here we go. Cryogonal. How's it going? And we're going to be going straight for a flamethrower attack. For the win... Yeah, look at this, Cragle. Not, yeah, it, it's not, it's not happy right now. Okay, so we grew to level 66. That's my buddy right there. And well, Jordan the Goat grows to level 65, and it already knows a few moves, but it's trying to learn Aerial Ace. I'm not gonna teach it that because right now it doesn't really need it. You know, we can always teach it Aerial Ace. And here comes Avalug, a well, a very, very powerful Pokemon. As you guys can see, it's very bulky. Yeah, we're going to melt it. We are going to melt you right here. So here we go, guys. Flamethrower for the win. Avalug has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, let's go. And Wolfric has been defeated. Yeah, outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. Yes, I did. Alrighty. Okay. So... He's like, impressive. Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained the po your Pokemon well. And look at this. We get ourselves our final badge, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Eight badges in all. How's it going? What you have right there is called the Iceberg Badge. As long as you have that, and in all your Pokemon, you will surely look up to you as their absolute best in your trainer and whatever. Let me give you this, too. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves the TM-13 Ice Beam. And you know what that is? It's Ice Beam. This move has an accuracy of 100%. Not only that, but every, every once in a while, it will freeze the target it hits, too. I hope you've learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough, but it, it will also render you fragile. You're better off being flexible. You know what I mean? Some people are fluid like the water and can adapt to their environment without changing what's important inside. Not me, though. I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love Ice-type Pokemon. And because of that, look at this, guys. This is pretty cool. This is freaking awesome. Look at this. Look at that. That is awesome. That is cool. And because of that, look at this. We are going to go straight down the middle. We are sliding back into your DMs. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Eight badges in all. We are one step closer to the Pokemon League. And once you step outside, Wolfric is going to join you outside, or the only man that's ever believed in us. He's going to be like, there's a future champ I know and love. Looks like you triumphed our, uh, uh, trumped our old gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess that means you're off to the Pokemon League. 
and Wolfric will come out, and he's like, you know what? You have all the gym badges now, so there's only uh, there really uh, there's there really only one thing left to do. It's time it's time you headed off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon, and there are no limit to what you can achieve. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. So we're not going there because we can't slide up. In the next episode, guys, we are going to be making our journey to the Pokemon League. We are very very close to finishing up this walkthrough, guys. Holy crud! It only took us like two months, maybe three. I don't even know. But yes, we will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Thank you guys again for being supportive. Thank you guys for being patient as always. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue to dominate the, the Kalos region. See you guys.